FUE hair transplant is a method of hair restoration that we harvest follicular units one unit at a time. So it stands for follicular unit extraction or ex follicular unit excision, that's the new name for it. So uh, in the method, unlike the older method, we don't have to remove a piece of the skin and under microscope remove the grafts. So with FUE method, we go after individual follicular units one unit at a time and extract them under magnifying loops or microscopic loop. Uh, there are different methods of FUE. It requires some sort of preparation on the donor area. Some people go with no shaven method, so there's no shaving involved. Sometimes we do shaving and remove the grafts through shaving. That has to do with patient and physician uh, basically preferences. Uh, the method is uh, almost uh, has minimal or no pain after procedure. Uh, there's no line of scar in the back, and there's no uh, basically downtime after procedure. So the old methods of hair transplant, starting from plug surgery and more recently a strip procedure. A strip procedure was when we were removing a strip of the skin from the back of the head. So by doing that, the surgeon removes the piece of the skin that has follicular units and hand them out to the technicians who are cutting them under microscope into the natural grouping of the hair. So those are called follicular units. In FUE method, we don't have to remove a piece of the skin. We have to remove follicular units one unit at a time it's more, sometimes more time consuming with the new methods that we have, the graphs are looking perfect. So there is really no disadvantage in terms of the quality of graphs by doing FUE. It's just no cutting, no uh, removing of a piece of the skin, no scarring on the back of the head, no tightness after procedure. Both men and women could get hair transplant through FUE method. Uh, obviously, we have different methods of FUE. Uh, in terms of donor, uh, donor preparation. Sometimes people choose to uh, trim the hair very short with number zero, that makes it easier for extractor grafts. Uh, a, lot of men, uh, a lot of men choose to go that way. Some uh, actually ladies don't wanna have that uh, shaving uh, of the head on, on the back, so we do layer shaving. So we just kinda trim the area that we need to harvest hair from or we do non-shaving FUE, we call it also celebrity FUE method, that we cut one hair at a time and remove it. So that's for people who don't want to have any visibility of the procedure afterwards. So they can shave, they can uh, comb and style hair right after procedure without any way to uh, see the donor or recipient area. Well, the different methods of FUE has to do with patient and physician, uh, basically, uh, preferences. Uh, for example, some men may don't mind shaving the head. So we shave it all with number zero, of course, with clipper, and we remove the grafts the, the way we have to. We transplant them. Sometimes it makes it a little more precise, but we have a shaved area to be able to go make it nicely, densely packed. Um, but some people don't can't they cannot have that so they grow the hair longer for example and we just do layer shaving some people say okay I'm okay to shave the back area of the donor area and recipient I don't want to shave so we don't have to shave it the back we do like partial shaving or some people choose to do with celebrity FUE or non-shaven FUE that we cut one hair and remove it and sometimes some people even want to have a long hair transplanted. So we have a method that removes most of the grafts with long hair. So right after procedure, it's also called preview FUE hair transplant that we can see how the end result will be because the hair has, you know, the grafts have long hair so we can comb it and style it right after procedure and they kind of get an idea of how they will look six to eight months after procedure when they have the full results. FUE procedure has been evolving in last 10 years significantly to the point that the procedure, the FUE procedure that we do today is completely different even than five years ago. We started doing FUE with manual punches. Uh, we could get the grafts, but sometimes we will lose the quality of them. So some of the follicles that we removed were not viable. Now the, the methods that we have in last few years, we have more automated methods, robotic method, or the newest one is Trivellini method that we uh, are able to remove the grafts with no damage to the grafts. So there are systems that allows the, um, the that, that allow the surgeon to go one at a time over these grafts, remove the follicular units with 
perfect intact uh, follicle. So every single hair, hair will grow and we're not losing anything. So the methods have been improved. The overall process has been improved. For example, one of the methods that we do today is called simultaneous extraction and placement. So when we do that, we uh, start with making sites, we're designing the holes that grafts will go into, and then we start extracting the grafts as technicians are placing the grafts with inserter. The inserter is a device that load the grafts and place them as we are moving forward. So the grafts are live tissue. We want to remove them, we want to prep them under, uh, uh, out of the body under microscope, count them and make sure they're all, all intact and then deliver them to the placing group. So we have like four people working around patients at, at the same time. Some of them are extracting the grafts. I mean, I'm extracting the grafts. My technician will remove the grafts, hand it to the uh, microscope uh, station and then microscopic team will put them into the groups that will be delivered to the placers that are placing them as we extract. Well, FE procedure is a subcategory of hair transplant. Like any other hair transplant, it does help people tremendously because hair loss is a major issue for men and uh, you know women. Um, we have young people who come to us with hair loss, and because of that, they lose their confidence, they lose they lose their social skills, or they have the fear of facing other people. Uh, it may affect their career in social life. We have done studies on those, and we know those are. Uh, real factors and then we also have done studies to ask patients how they felt after procedure we know they significantly can reduce their social anxiety their self-confidence will go up it can affect their career and their uh, sex life and a variety of different aspects of their lives so we see that on a regular basis people come here after procedure after eight months or ten months they are totally different people not just the look the overall uh, the inner person is different. People are happier, more energetic, more confident about the future. I think social media has uh, played a role in cosmetic sur surgery or cosmetic medicine overall uh, to the point that uh, people are more aware of the options. People are a little bit more kind of conscious about their look. Um, I don't know if it's, if it's good or bad. Sometimes it can negatively affect younger individuals who are not having a good understanding of their personality. But uh, at least on the educational side, I can tell you that there are more options out there and people, they have more way of reaching out and finding out what other people are doing. And through that, they get educated, educated about the options that is available for them.